Ed Brown became combative and they had no choice but to taser him, they said. News Channel 5's John Kosick joins us live now. John, we hear a lot about tasers. Some good, some bad. Yeah, Leon, and after a number of highly publicized deaths nationwide, the U.S. Justice Department decided to conduct their own study, the results of which those expected to gather here this evening may disagree with. Cleveland police made the decision to equip their officers with tasers in 2005, following four police-involved deadly shootings over the previous four years. At the initial council hearing, then Safety Committee Chairman Zach Reed offered to allow himself to be tased. Still a little wheezy. My knees are a little, still a little shaky. But overall, it's much better than getting shot and killed. Within two weeks, 61 Cleveland officers began an extensive two-day, 16-hour training session, which involved for many of those officers the experience of being tased for five seconds. At the time, officers found the experience insightful. You know what the, uh, what the capabilities are, you know, somebody's limitations uh, when they're being affected like that, so... It definitely, it definitely will help. Since 2005, Cleveland police have purchased more than 1,000 tasers, according to the manufacturer. They are one of 600 law enforcement agencies in Ohio now using tasers. The growth in the device led to a growth in taser-related deaths, but a Department of Justice study found that while not risk-free, exposure was safe in the vast majority of cases. Last week's death of Rodney Brown after being tased by police raises again the concerns voiced five years ago by community activists. Sure, it is an alternative. And we accept that, but we're worried. We're worried uh, about the abuse of these tasers, and we know that these tasers kill too. And our McCoy shown there in 2005, the one behind tonight's rally and vigil. The Carter's office is investigating to determine Brown's exact cause of death. The Cleveland Police Use of Deadly Force team also investigating. We'll have much more on the story tonight at 11. Reporting live in Cleveland, John Kasich, News Channel 5. Many thanks, John, and we will look for your report later on this evening.